my experience at Willow Springs Elementary School, District 108. In second grade, I had a teacher that would scream and yell constantly. Most of it was unwarranted and just used to attack students or make examples of students. In this class, I had a, uh, a friend who had just moved into town. He stayed there for about three or four years. And uh, he was from Archer, Chicago area at Archer. Um, during this class, I had uh, teachers call my parents and tell my mom that I'd been snapping bra straps or, or doing something of that sort. Um, you know, I didn't think of that stuff for a couple years later, at least not to that extent. I didn't know how it worked. And I'll tell you that the uh, fifth grade sex education class done by the principal was a joke. And while the boys come back, all the girls are laughing and pointing and giggling. And, and that was really the, the separation of the sexes at Willow Springs School, um, which didn't necessarily have to happen, but it's just part of programming. As I continue here, I was uh, punished. And uh, the, my friend was, my friend who had moved into town, a Catholic, he was uh, told to go home. And he happened to live right behind one of the people who complained about me. I had no problem with any of these people or their families, even at this point, or any students. Later on that, that week, I know I was brought into the lower stairwell of the elementary school. There's two stairwells, one closest to Archer, and then one that leads to the main hallway. I was taken to the one on the first or second step of the main hallway on the bottom floor, and I was threatened, and the uh, superintendent tried to make me understand what I did, and I still didn't quite know. I knew I had been bad. I was being given a guilt trip by the teacher, by parents, and by this guy, and I was told that if I, you know, if there's any more, more complaints against me, as long as I went to, Will to, as long as I went to Willow Springs School, that I would be kicked out. So for a couple years at least, Probably during developmental stages, I was probably, uh, you know, walking on eggshells when I shouldn't have. But, uh, you know, it, that this part isn't a big deal. Later on, the friend who moved to town said that his parents wanted me to come to a communion party. And I didn't know what a communion was. I guess I'd ask my ma how to get a gift. I think uh, it was like a $20 bond or something like that or a $50 buy that we gave them. And nothing nothing really happened at this communion. Nothing stood out that I could tell. There might have been, in the house, there might have been a construction in the downstairs basement, making a room for somebody, building a, a bedroom down there. Um, a few weeks after that, and I don't remember what month this was, um, there was a knock at the door of the second grade classroom. A blonde woman, smiling and smiling like a hyena, opened the door and gave our teacher a bag or a box, and they split it up or organized it. And they had a show and tell, an impromptu show and tell. It was the most intensive show and tell I remember from first, second, or third grade because this was this was a, a group production. This wasn't one person. So these students, some selected Catholic students were given crosses, gold crosses and silver crosses, and we were made to clap for them. And then they, they talked about Jesus and, you know, about the cross. And, you know, as any kid, as you would see in most commercials or if, you know, a kid's interviewed on television, probably the responses and what happened wasn't, didn't give enough information to the rest of the class. But uh, these these five or six students got their crosses. They had their day their day in the sun. Um, looking back on this and looking back on uh, education and uh, state and religion together, and they're pretty much inseparable, you know, with these cults. And 
considering what happens at Willow Springs School with some students only staying for a couple years and leaving, some students staying for a couple years and leaving, what really appears to be going on is a, is a religious reformation, or whether it's Catholic or another sect that works with Catholics. And they would have students come in and, you know, people were probably paid, you know, to come to the school and have, you know, have an extra Catholic or two in the class that could be used on non-Catholic students. Um, in almost a two against one triangulation uh, effect.